As a kid, there's a lot of, like I said, drugs and alcohol and addiction, abuse and domestic violence and stuff. And I witnessed my parents fighting. Um, there was also an incident where my mom was drunk and she threw me down the basement stairs. I ended up running across the street to the neighbor's house and calling 911. The police ended up coming and I went to, I was in a police car going to the foster home at 12.30 at night. Elias was seven years old when he came uh, to our house. And then we had him uh, for 15 months before uh, we adopted him. I went there and it was just, I felt completely different. It wasn't like a foster care setting. It really made me feel at home, I guess. They told us that it was a form of fetal alcoholism because his biological mother was on meth and was an alcoholic. And so that was in his system. So within one week, he went from straight A's to missing all his classes, was very physically violent, and it, it was just, it was like night and day. It was very scary. I've been involved in all athletics, so I played baseball um, two years, I've played football three years, I wrestled three years, I've ran track two years, and then now I'm on the student council as a senior. I was a captain on the football team this year too, so. Yeah, the biggest thing I'll take away from Boys Town is being the best that I can be, because that's, I think, is what they strive for the most. Just be the best you can be. Just do what you think you can do. If you set your mind to something, you can do it. He's learned a lot. He's really showed a, a lot of um, adult decisions. Um, we're very, very proud of him. So 